Kaylin's two younger sisters, Lily and Maddie, are going to have to grow up without their older sister. My wife, Angel, is going to have to go through the rest of her life without her baby girl. A grieving father whose last words to his daughter were, I love you. Now, overcome with emotion after the man who allegedly killed 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis ordered by a judge to remain behind bars. She was killed. Um, she's dead. I don't think there's any more serious harm than that. 65-year-old Kevin Monahan is facing a second-degree murder charge. Authorities say Gillis was with her boyfriend, Blake Walsh, and two others, driving on this rural New York road looking for a friend's house last weekend when they lost cell service. With no GPS, they pulled into Monahan's driveway. Police say he fired two shots as the car was turning around. Kaylin was hit. Walsh telling NBC, my friend said they're shooting, go. I tried to step on the gas as fast as I could, and that's when the fatal shot came through. I want to believe it was instant. I'm hoping it was. I'm praying it was. For this man to sit on his porch and fire at a car with no threat, is just, just angers me so badly. And I, I just hope to God that he dies in jail. In court, prosecutors say Monahan, a longtime resident of Washington County, had a reputation. It is one of being confrontational and hot tempered. He has no criminal history and fired the shots because he believed the cars were revving their engines and Monahan felt threatened. Monahan's attorney adding, quote, he's a normal human being who was involved in a tragic series of events. And of course, he feels horrible that a young girl's life was lost. Gillis, remembered most for her smile, was set to move to Florida with her family at the end of the year. She loved animals, so she planned to study marine biology. She was so smart. She was so smart, kind, loving. She had so many friends. And was excited to begin a life with her boyfriend. He's an amazing young man. He wanted to marry my daughter. And I would have loved that. Gillis died next to him that night, killed for simply making a wrong turn. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.